who's sick. With me now is Jack Valero, the founder of Catholic Voices. Jack, the feeling in the church today, this has surely caused shockwaves. This is obviously huge. He's one of the cardinals. There's never been a cardinal uh, charged in this way before. He works very close to the Pope. But of course, we must get to the truth. Big things must be heard and uh, justice must be done. Do you think this is the biggest challenge that Pope Francis has had so far? It could be. It could be depending on how it develops. I mean, obviously, I mean, uh, Cardinal Pelk himself uh, has always been a crusader against sex abuse, not, not a denier. Some people are in the church. And he, uh, back in 96, established the Melbourne response for victims to come forward. These particular charges from 61 actually were already investigated in, in the year 2000 yeah. by, uh, by, by a we, judge we and a report. We don't know exactly what the charges are We don't are know yet. the charges, no. And, and of course we, we are waiting and the police have decided to investigate again. So that's obviously important. But there's been investigated. He's, he's, he's testified three times. He's always been very keen to, to tackle the problem. Obviously, we must uproot this problem from the church. He's been leading. So in a way, it's a bit paradoxical. Yes, but he said today that this was a character assassination, and yet in Ballarat, his hometown, several priests have been convicted of crimes sure. there. So there are people that he was looking after who have been convicted. Something was very wrong, and he yeah. knew about it. Well, that's, that's the other thing, that he, when he testified last time from Rome because he couldn't travel, he admitted huge errors had been made. Um, whether he was the person in charge or not is, 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 is in question now. So he's not actually been charged about cover-up. So he, he, uh, he was around, he was not in charge of that, he was not accused of cover-up. These charges relate to actual abuse that he's supposed to have made, done in the, in the 60s, but obviously uh, justice must be done. The Pope, the Pope says go. He wants to clear his name. He's going to go and attend the trial. How, how careful does the Vatican have to be now, Jack, about criticisms they've faced before that they protect their own, they shield their oh, own? Oh, we must never protect our own. We must always go for the truth now. We've learnt. You're I mean, saying that, but yes, what about in the yes, Vatican? Yes, Look at what no, happened no, no, with, I think, I with think Bernard Law, for instance. That's the example yes, that, that yes, exact, springs to exactly. mind. Yes, exactly. I think things have changed enormously. I mean, this is a uh, a changed institution, an institution that has found out that a lot went wrong and a lot has to be put right. Now there are guidelines everywhere. The fact is that we have to cooperate with all the trials that there are. Justice must be done. Uh, per perpetrators must be punished. Victims must, must be recompensed. It's a completely different atmosphere. Are there other structural things that have to change? Uh, the uh, Royal Commission in Australia, for instance, heard from some serving archbishops who said they would never report to police if a priest said in the confessional that they had abused a child. Do other things like that need to be addressed? I think there's mandatory reporting uh, mostly around the world. Confession is a different thing. Confession is no normally anonymous, so the person confesses, you don't necessarily know who it is. So barring confession, which is a, a technical thing of canon law, any, any, any knowledge that one has of abuse has to be reported. And I think there's mandatory reporting now, I mean, at least there is certainly here and in the United States, and all the different guidelines that have been developed around the world. So I, th I think that it's really an important topic. A new commission was established by Francis with several people, and they've been working very quickly, Jack, I wanted to ask you, is this also going to complicate Pope Francis's plans for financial reform in the Vatican? Well, it might. I mean, he has been, Cardinal Bell has been excellent at cleaning up the bank and doing all the reform and the finance that needed to be done. Now, he's away. How long will he be away for? Trials take a long time. It depends whether he can come back. Who is appointed after him? You know, th this is a very important thing to clean up the finances of the Vatican. Very important. Jack. Oh, Jack, thank you very much, Jack thank Valero, you. for joining us there from Catholic Voices.